motherfucker shot the whole thing out of focus. Eight years of my life saving money, writing, working that fucking bullshit fucking restaurant job. <laughs> what am I supposed to feel sorry for this guy? Look, I own this film, I have a contract. I motherfucking die! How many times did I say I was going to pull a plug on this film? Uh, maybe 60 times every day. Hi, I'm Michael Johnson, and I just produced and directed my first low-budget, 35mm independent feature film. This problem, that problem. Ugh, oh, I swear to God. And I'm Susie Hunter. I co-produced Michael's film, and I also wrote the screenplay. What the hell did we do this for? <laughs> I don't know. That's what we're here to talk about. I have no idea. Well, let's tell them about this story, <laughs> let's all right? figure it out. Maybe we can figure it out now. As struggling actors and filmmakers, we shared the same desire to tell stories with a positive message. We hoped an independent film might showcase our talent. Michael read my story about this new age hypnotherapist named Darius Cloud, and he really wanted to play the role. And plus, we both thought it was a realistic project for us to tackle. I mean, there were no car explosions, no buildings blowing up. I mean, it was great. We thought. Between directing, producing, writing, casting, and starring in our own film, we knew we had a huge amount of work ahead of us. Michael and I were wearing so many hats, it was ridiculous. I mean, plus, we just wanted everything to be done right. Dr. Cloud is a totally whacked out of his mind, bisexual, ex-druggy, who eventually stoops to using his power to get whatever he wants. It's like how to get girls through hypnosis. I play the part of Crystal, who Darius Cloud has the hots for. But of course, Crystal is madly in love with an L.A. musician named John Ronson. The movie begins with John and Crystal asleep in bed. It's clear from the start there's something wrong with Crystal, but we're not sure exactly what. Hey, hon. How's it going? What time is it? Oh. Shit! Oh, God! Hey, the recording session was awesome. We sounded killer. I mean, I just hope the owners feel the same way. Anyway, I wish I could tell you all about it, but I gotta go, huh? I'm gonna go over and meet them. Anyway, wish me luck with the Schloss Brothers. My name is Luther Schloss, and this is my brother Hans. Good morning, Americans. This record label has been assimilated by the First Reich. BS music no longer exists. We've crushed you like grapes. Which one of you is John Ronson? I am. This one is weary from the chase, <laughs> hungry for success. <laughs> you can almost taste it, yeah. Billy, <laughs> so desperate to prove yourself to your family. And Zip, <laughs> Zip, you're just a horny bastard, aren't you? Yeah? Fucking A. The babe will wait outside. You stay. We have the contract for you to read and sign. Man, what is taking him so long? Uh, winning this would solve all our problems. It's up to twenty-two million dollars. Get real. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why do you keep playing the same stupid numbers anyway? Habit, I guess. Andrew Weiler! 
How many bands have you managed? Were any of them successful? Ever? Uh, why, what, what? Define successful. Do you notice anything weird about that Luther guy? Damn, the Prince of Darkness stuff was a bit overdone, but I think it's just an act. Mm -hmm. I've got my evening plan. Gotta prepare the Zap Cave for some heavy action tonight. <laughs> the Zap Cave? God, I hope she's ever shocked. Nine! Failure is past. Change your future. How does that sound? <laughs> Finally! Alright, man, so. What's up? Cyber Jam, that's what. Yeah, very funny. BS wasn't big enough for that slot. <laughs> but Fourth Reich is. And guess which band is going to play their slot? We are! No shit! Hey man, that's fucking awesome. Wait a second. It's tomorrow night. Are we ready for it? I'm fucking ready. Hey, are we gonna get paid? <laughs> oh, what? Playing to the entire world in a brand new stadium isn't enough for you? So three weeks before we're ready to set up to shoot, our director of photography, or DP as they're called, gets a big money job shooting a dog food commercial in Spain. I mean, he felt really bad, but of course he had to drop out of the film. Talk about being on the spot. We had to find a DP fast, so we put out an ad. What we found, unfortunately, was Dwayne Fox. I'm Dwayne Fox, the DP. That's F-U-X for all you morons out there. I mean, I always look for ads from first-time indie filmmakers. Why? Because they're so easy to fuck over, that's why. You guys, wait till I tell Annie, man. She's gonna be so pumped. We gotta celebrate tonight. John, you bring Crystal and Zat. You can bring whatever. <laughs> and you come too, man. Oh, thanks. We're gonna party all night long. I can't keep up with you three. Two Shirley Temples and I'd be on the floor. Yes, Mr. Ronson, and I promise I'll give Crystal the message about the party tonight just as soon as she gets back from the printers. Of course. Goodbye. Oh, Crystal, my dear, where were we? Crystal called and said she's not feeling well and can't make it to our party. She's going straight home to bed. Is it anything serious? Is she okay? No, it's just a headache or something. She said not to worry and for us to enjoy ourselves. These ropes are so tight, I can hardly move. Couldn't we make them a little looser? But you get me so hot. I just love helpless men. You are helpless, aren't you, Zappy Poo? Uh, yeah, I'm helpless, all right. Like a little kid. Oh. To the elusive lady called success, may she recognize our years of endeavor. And stop beating the shit out of us. <laughs> Cheers. 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 I'm gonna teach you a lesson like you've never been taught before. Mm -hmm.